Jerry, good morning. Thank you for the host. Uh, Dazul, good morning. Adams, good morning. Thank you for contributing to our Friday Night's Main Event 17 Challenge. Challenge, wakey wakey. Your honk kind of got me a little bit, just a smidge. It's like, huh? Wasn't really like jump square scare, it was more like a what? How kind of thing. Huh? You know? Gary, thank you for contributing to our Friday Night's Men Event 17 Challenge Challenge. Scurvy Dog, good morning. Thank you for contributing to our Friday Night's Men Event 17 Challenge Challenge. Wakey wakey. Eggs and bakey, I hope. At least it's better than... Uh, Barts and achies. Uh, I don't know. I got nothing. Nothing! As you probably heard me take a drink. There we go, that's better. Bump up the noise, geek. Waka waka waka. I always liked F F Fozzy Bear. I thought he was fun. I mean, I did like K Kermit the Frog, but I think I liked Fozzy and Gonzo more. And I like the old man more, too. Miss Miss uh, Piggy, I wasn't too fond of until she began to, like, chop people and, like, karate chop everyone and stuff. Then I laughed my ass off. Hi yeah! Oh, Rolf was cool, too.
Hey Manny, good morning. Mahdi, good morning. Waldorf and Statler. Hey, Carrie, you're on. Good morning, everyone. Uh, oh, we're recycling the video. Okay, let's let's go. Let's get going. Where's the thing? Where's the button? There's the button. We have traveled the stars. We have traveled through time. We came across one unmistakable truth. The future is wrestling. We have brought the best wrestlers from across time and space to compete for honor and glory. This is Stone's Galactic Wrestling Federation. What the universe is watching. Morning and welcome to Extreme Rules. Today is Sunday, September 11th, 2022. I'm your host, Stones. My co-host, Carrie. Good morning. Wakey, wakey. Trouser snakey. Davey, Dave, thank you for contributing to our Friday Night Benefit 17 Challenge Challenge. Hi, Dave. Hi, Gazoo. Hi, Marty. Hi, Ellie. Hi, Adam. Hi, Manny. Dazul, thank you for the host. Morning, Dazul. I'm the baker. And I'm Maddie Hunter. And together, we're, we're sugar, sugar and spice. spice. You can't deny our flavor. You better believe it. We'll see you in the ring at Stone's Galactic Wrestling Federation, where the universe is watching. Bye! Maddie, thank you, you for contributing to our Friday Night's Main Event 17 Challenge. Challenge? Well, oh, yeah. actually, I don't Adam. shut up because we like Hi, scurvy it. dog. Oh, in chat. Um, but this is Stone's Galactic Wrestling Federation. Morning, April. Hi, April. April starting a heist. How many people will join? I add points to everyone? No, I didn't. Hi, Zords. Zords, good morning. You know... Let's join the heist. That's good. That BlizzCon blue is real good. Woo, 10,000. Oh, it's a pay-per-view. <laughs> you know what's even better? Double it. Stone Galactic. Zorts the Goblin Federation. cheered for 100 bits. Ah, no yes, Extreme the Weebery, our favorite time of the year. His favorite wrestler, the Swinger. See you there, babes. Zorts, thank you for the 100 bits. Extreme dweebery. Are you looking in a mirror? Heist a lot. Finally! <laughs> Made time piece. The galaxy we we need eight is more. a well oiled machine. And atop it all sits the cosmic traveler, the king of the cosmos. <laughs> so it makes total sense. Yeah, that screw you. To Only Dizul can do wrestling that. Wrestling Federation, because I ain't been known to slum it around any old part of the galaxy. But I'll tell oh. you what, brother. What That's the universe good. is watching is the own dog. And for the rest of you, in the locker room, in the back, just remember that you might try to reach the pinnacle. But atop it all, 
six, Hi, Leo. the Cosmic Traveler. Morning, Leo. And before it's all said and done, you will know exactly why I own Hey, yo, this is Mr. Fix-It here. To inform you, there's a heist being organized. This is your cue to participate. Or else. No man will ever tame a ghost. My legions of butchers waiting in the forest of Asgard. I'm here to tell you. No man in Hi, all the stones galactic wrestling. We need five more people for our perfect time. Ever, ever tame this. Good morning, Tiber. There's a the quack in there. <laughs> All right. We are going to start with the men's tag team championship. Ooh, we're at 13 people in the heist. It's a best two out of three falls match. Tables, baby. Um, yeah, Jeffy guessing is closed for a second. It'll be reopened after. The following contest is a tag team tables match and is for the tag team championship. At a combined weight of 592 pounds, the Empire of Pain. There is a Bacon Jacob and KD Angelo. Representing Empire of Pain, first time for them being in a tag team best two out of three falls match. Bacon Jacob is owned by Nick No Handles. <laughs> and Katie Angelo is owned by Katie Angelo 69. So, the reason why I'm Jeffy Guessing closed was because I didn't actually set the matches into the list of matches so I had the card just not set up so the, the card the is yeah so it's uh, like hey there's no matches so let's just close it I, it will reopen when I add the other matches so I quickly added this match so that we could bet April thank you for contributing to our Friday nights whenever at 17 challenge challenge they are the Bobby the Brain Dunn and Dr. Jake Hill are your tag team champs. They are the Fink Tank. They are 0-2 in best two out of three falls matches. They are both owned by Big Bad Bobby D. I'm smarter than you, and you haven't even figured it out yet. That doesn't bode well for them. Hey, there we go. Okay, let me add matches so that Jeffy Guessing will open at the next bet. Thousand. Canadian title, Toasty defending. That oh, is a lot of. looks a little different. Yes, that's his new look. Added some stuff to his eyes uh -huh. and changed his pants up a bit. He got a mini makeover. Never more. Tank team titles, never more. And that is tables. Why were you up so early, Dazoo? Wow. Wiki wiki. Unless it's like too hot again.
Or maybe he he didn't want like an extreme makeover. Scary dog. The zoo couldn't sleep, so we watched some sumo. Sumo wrestling? Oh. I don't think I've ever really watched that. I think the only thing I really know about it is that you need to knock your opponent out of the circle. That's it. Oh. Right? Was Blob in it? <laughs> huh. Just setting up the last of these matches here. Uh, and then women, uh, there it's the main event. Velvet Dove and K. Title K. Blob ate all the sushi. K match. Great one. Good morning. Thank you for the host. Hi, great one. to do bet April oh there's lots okay. this shouldn't be set on the elimination it's two out of three falls right yeah it's two out of three. Oh, there's one uh for so empire of pain right Okay, I think we're good for the rest of the matches. Okay, sorry. So it falls through the table too? It's only tables. Oh, there's a table match. It is a table match, yeah. Empire of Pain is one table break away from regaining the tag team titles. Yeah, it's best two out of three falls. I mean, I did add, uh... There's lots of tables. Yeah, I did, I did add the stuff. Oh, oh, Empire of Pain! Empire of Pain has started things off on a good note for themselves. They are the new tag team champs. Wow, that was... This is the shortest tag last, team match ever. A lot faster than I thought it was going to be. Yes. Damn. I don't even know how that last one broke. Here are your dance, the Empire. Betting is now closed. Hey. Dude, bro. My that was fast. Failed. Peg team champs, man. Here we go. I didn't even get the bet. I was doing the thing. He's opening the bet and doing yeah, the was, card edits. Yeah. Okay. It's a squash match. I mean, there's no more squash matches here, but Jesus. I mean, if there ever was one, that would have been one. Lord. All right, I'll pay up the betters in a sec. Well. Nobody bet for Empire of Pain. All right. We have the Canadian title is on the line now. Toasty is defending against Winsome Lusome in a ladder match. Oh, man. I guess this show it's is more of forever. a mix between Extreme Rules and... Tables, ladders, and chairs. You're eating your hot dog? A morning hot dog? No kink shaming, man. J Rod, good morning. Hi, J Rod. 
All right, here we go. Canadian title on the line. Maximum bet is 2,000. The following contest is a ladder match. Jeffy Guessing is reopened. Get your guesses in now. Brack voice? What the hell is Brack voice? What? Who's Brack? Yeah, I don't know who that is. Brack? Here is Winsome Loosome, 12 and 23 in one-on-ones. Never before taken on Toasty one-on-one. Really? Never? Apparently. He is owned by Leo Cozy. Anyway! I, I believe Winsome is a former Canadian champ. Yes. From Cartoon Planet, Space Ghost. Oh, is that the uh, lawyer guy that's dressed up like Batman-ish, but not really? Like he's got like kind of a mask that, that looks like his? Or is that a different one? Because I never watched that one and I know I should have. That's Harvey Birdman, right? Right, yeah, okay. Man. I never saw that one, and I know I should have, but... You can still watch it. Yeah. Uh, How many episodes? I got enough stuff. Here's here's Toasty, your Canadian champ, 29 and 37. He doesn't have the belt on him because it's hanging up above the ring. He is owned by Toasty Posty Can. Toasty! And uh, I'm going to point out that our intro today was done by Allie, who is going to suffer a week one loss... At my hands in our in our league. I'm gonna beat down the flaming chickens. Sorry, Allie. It's gonna be happening all the way up until week two. Or all the way up until you actually beat me. Okay. And the only reason why I know I'm beating her is because of a quirk in the yeah, I actually have players on San Jose and Nashville. She does not, so I'm gonna beat her, and I gotta live it up as much as I can because I feel like it'll be the most I will be able to. Because by the end of the year, I'm gonna be probably in last place. You're predicting the future. Yes. Now. Wow. So I rigged it. Yeah, man. Yep. He's going to rig it for him to lose at the end, too, though? And then, uh... And then we also did our draft, and I messed it up, so we did it again, and in our second draft, I wound up in first... I, I wound up in first place. So I got, you know, to pick first. There, There's a rig there, too. It's all rigged, baby. There is one player that we were on the call and uh, we didn't realize he was out there still, John Tavares. <laughs> and Guth picked him and we're all like, You forgot? Damn! Man. April, I I am scarred by the Leafs, and uh, so I'm usually only focused on Leafs and pretty much nothing else, so I was actually, like, the other reason why I wanted to do this league was I was hoping it was going to get me back into watching a lot of other teams playing. And getting back in uh, uh, to it like I was like maybe 10, 12 years ago or so. Yeah. So it should be fun. I I I was torn for my first pick to be uh, between Connor and uh, Austin Matthews because Austin Matthews scores goals. Connor uh, David 
is the better player for sure. But it's like, well, because we're doing head uh, uh, to head in certain goals and power play points and all of this stuff. Well, which do you pick? Do you want to just go for goals and, and always win on that? Or I don't know. I saw a lot of concentration on Canadian team players. Uh, I broke my own rule by tanking a lot of players on on one team. So I have Mitch Marner, <laughs> Mor Morgan Riley, and uh, Nylander from the Leafs. Like, all on one team. That's... You picked Nylander? Uh, don't get me started. I didn't want to, but I was like, well, when I saw what was left, I'm like, okay, fine. Uh, Canada is America's and Britain's master child. Yep. Yeah. Should we be offended? No. Yeah. Uh, I've always thought of Canada as that nice apartment above a crack house. Well. Well. Should we be offended with that too? Well. Wow, toasty. Hey, what? Oh no. Uh, I don't know. I didn't pick him. Isn't that a goalie for Winnipeg or something? Right? Or am I confusing him? See, like I, like I know some players. Like, um, for instance, Chris Lit 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 Tang. I was like, he's playing still? I thought he broke his neck and he wasn't playing anymore. Or something like that. That's how that's how long ago it's been since I've really been paying attention. Well, Winsome actually got up there first, right? To actually start working on it. Yeah. Cause Toasty didn't really start working on it. He just went right up on the top. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, look at that. Toasty's like, I'm strong. Dove, good morning. Hi, Dove, good Dove. Uh, thank you for contributing to our Friday Night's Mid Event 17 Challenge Challenge. Yeah, so I'm hoping um, doing the league uh, will get me back into it a bit. Okay, Toasty. What's he doing? I don't know. What's up with this? Because Winslow's in the way? Dazul, thank you for contributing to our Friday Night's Mid Event 17 Challenge Challenge. Wow, Tosi has taken a sweet up the ass so time. Slow. And oh no, oh. Uh, there there are. I did set the matches this way. I did want them to go a little bit longer than normal. Uh, because we did only we do only have eight matches on our card, and we're not doing title shots, cash ins, or nuke matches, so. Um, if this runs a little longer, that's okay. I mean, if it goes an hour, then we would call it, but... Uh, Maverick, good morning. Thank you for contributing to our Friday Night's Mid Event 17 Challenge Challenge. Hi, Maverick. Both of these guys are taking their sweet-ass time to get up there, and then yeah. by the time they get up there, the other person's like, Hey, what? No way. That's true, April. That is true. Oh no. Oh, well, yeah. He I, missed. He he missed, but he didn't. But anyways, <laughs> well, he didn't miss, but he did miss. Uh, neither one of these guys, Cruiser Racing, ain't gonna rocket up that ladder. I don't know. I thought I saw somebody that was a super heavyweight that, like, went flying up there. And I'm like, what the hell? Like, why? How? Or maybe it was a bug or something. And maybe I'm misremembering. Oh! What? What the? He got caught. Oh, my God. Okay, now go up the ladder. Dude, bro. 
No, nope. he's like, no. Nah. Now, if he were to throw him out of the ring and then get up the ladder, maybe, maybe they need to have time to get a couple of the clasps. Yeah, I would highly re re recommend doing a Jeffy Guess of Zero. Because, uh... Are there mostly, like, ladder matches? Jeffy will table, probably table be matches. only be able to get hit during the hardcore title matches. And there's only two of those. So... Yep. Yep, yep. No, that, that, that's not going to do anything, dude. I mean, now you're going to get up there and he's just going to wail on your ass. But maybe that's what he wants, and that's okay. We don't kick shame here. That's, that's okay. Oh, my God. Well, bro. Now I got the weekend song in my head. That's from yesterday. I know. What the hell, man? Why? Why did you close the ladder? That one's better. No. No, no not that one. Dude, That's bro. Fine. So far, you have won all the Splatoon 3 to 4 matches this morning. Oh, nice, man. And eee, right on his big bum. He had to wait until he climbed all the way up before Apparently. punching him. Apparently. There we go. Okay, so power bomb and get your ass up there. Nope. Or throw him out. Oh, whoa. An electric chair. Okay, now now you can get your ass up there. Nope. No. Oh, there we go. There we go. Go, go, go. No! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Got reversed on you. for punching. Hey, mods, just, uh... Keep an eye out. And then now it's toe seat. His turn to adjust the ladder. Like, I mean, they're going to keep doing that until they throw somebody out of the ring. Okay. Throw them out of the ring. Oh, no. Now, quite. now he can. Now, there we go. There we go. There we go. This, but he this still is good. Climbs up so slow. Now, hopefully, he won't go up. The whole way. There we go. Oh, and then some got right. up. Oh, ah! dude, he missed the hole. Toasty, you oh, missed the hole, finally, dude. Finally, he's on the other side. Thank you, LB. I, I wasn't sure, like when I see an account like that. So I, I didn't see it in the user list. I'm looking at the MIRC chat, and uh, I saw Look, them join. There's two clasps open now. Oh, hit his head on the ladder, too. Six minutes ago? Yeah. I mean... So... You shouldn't make your name up a bunch of numbers. Okay, so... I've heard, but I don't know if it's 100% true, is that the number is based on their phone number. No, that's when, horrible. When they're creating their account, and it could be a legit account, but I've also seen that it's not a legit account, that they're all just bots, and they're looking to um, do bad things, like hate raids and crap like are, that. Are they legit phone numbers, though? 
I don't, I don't know why. I don't, I don't know. So. Just when I see an account like that, I. Makes me worried. And if it's a real person, well. I don't know. J Rod. J Rod, good morning. Hi, Bobby. Bobby, good morning. Maybe if Tessie took the skates off, he'd climb the ladder faster? Yeah. Yeah, I... Those account oh, names no. are... are, uh, alarming. Or, and, 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 and or wor worrisome. Correct, LB, yeah. And then they can do a uh, un unbanned request after 15 minutes. And say what? Well, I am a real person. Yeah. Why? Why was I banned? Well, you know. And then we go look at the chat history and see that there was nothing. Be like, huh? No. Yep. I, I like the tune, like the rhythm of it, the beats. It's good. I like it. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Winsome, what are you doing? Winsome, no. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I don't know where I read that there is some app that they're using to create accounts. Like, that's a normal thing that creates their account based on their phone number. Whoa! Klingon, well, fuck. It is a new Klingon warrior. In other words, you join us in glorious battle. I'm just subscribed for 33 months. Hi, Toasty. Toasty, thank you for the resub at tier two, dude. Dude, bro. Toasty. Well, uh, de facto, thank you for contributing to our Friday Night's Mid Event 17 Challenge Challenge. Hi, de facto. Thank you for the host. Are you still working? Hmm. Are you done working, de facto? Toasty, thank you for contributing to our Friday Night's Main Event 17 Challenge Challenge. Oh, there it goes, maybe. Uh, okay, it's off now. Thank you for contributing to our Friday Night's Main Event 17 Challenge Challenge. There's no more problem, Houston. So you're not done yet. You leave at noon. Well, an hour and a half. So, Toasty, the funny thing is, now it's harder to spook me with subs because um, the, the lights. lights flash first, I've noticed, before the alert comes up. I've noticed that. I think it's easier to spook me if you do the honk or like a sound because that doesn't necessarily flash first, but I definitely know it's the subs do. Oh. So is that a bug too? What? Where one person's on the ladder and if the other one climbs up, they wait for that person to climb up all the way to the top. I think it's just bad AI coding, that's all. Well, he still has an hour and a half to go. And hopefully it goes by quickly. Okay, win some. 
Now, let's see. Oh, no. He's like, no, nope, I'm going to kill him. Oh, Jesus. Dude, bro. Wow. And Tosi's like, nah, man. No, so. Nope, I'm fine. Look, I can even pick you up. And how much does he weigh again? I, don't, I think it was like 331, 319, 341, something, something like that. There's a way to find out. Bring some. Oh, we're at three. Look, Four. he didn't pause. Well, yeah, I didn't pause, so maybe it's just there. Uh, three, 322. Oh, winsome! Making some smart decisions here. That's five. Oh boy. Oh, dude, get it in the <laughs> hole, man. It's like oh, I don't know. Six. Uh oh. Oh, dude, it's seven. Oh, oh no! And there we go. Totally winsome, Lusum has reclaimed the Canadian title. Wow, my random bets have failed. Congratulations, Leo. Yeah, there was my random bet, too. Hey, Naragi, good morning. Hi, Naragi. A Tomskin cheered for 100 bits. My friend wanted me to take care of their delicate pumpkin. I told them I'd grade it with my life. Congratulations, Leo, on becoming the new Canadian champ. Adam, thank you for the 100 bits. Man, dude, bro. That was terrible. Terrible. Women's tag team titles are on the line next. Also, tables match. So the men and women's are all the same type of matches for okay. all the different titles. Ow. Ow. Boop. I didn't walk that long this morning because I woke up later. You know what? I was just going to ask you, did you walk this morning? I'm not kidding. <laughs> so I read your mind. But, but then I'm like, well, I'll ask her after. It it did go through my head when I, I like, just after I said boop. Okay. I was like, huh, I wonder if she walked. I'll probably walk later as well. Well, Adams is starting a heist up. All right. Okay, that's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. This over is Mr. Fix It here steps. to inform you there's a heist being organized. This is your cue to participate or else. Alright, this is a best two out of three falls match for the women's tag team titles. There are sugar and spice. The baker with the baker hat. The chef's hat. The baker hat. And her tag team partner, Maddie Hunter, they are 0-1 in two out of three falls matches. Carrie is the owner the boss. of the Baker. And Maddie Hunter is the owner of Maddie Hunter. I always think of like... Two out of three uh, tables. So it's tornado. Honestly, I came with me. 
Here are your women's tag team champs. First time being in a two out of three falls match. Isabella Ramon on the, well, in the black dress and no pants. Velvet Dove. It's her tag team partner. First time, yeah, right. First time being in a two out of three falls and, uh, Schooly Dog is the owner of Isabella Ramon. Velvet Dove is the owner of Velvet Dove. Missed something. We have 12 in the heist. We need four more. What is the best thing that Carrie bakes? <laughs> I, I do like a lot of your stuff. Just as a caveat before uh -huh. I get in trouble. Okay? <laughs> April's setting you up for the shed. I think so. <laughs> but... It's a toss-up between two things being my favorite. Which one? Chocolate mint brownies. That's one. Well, now three. Oh. <laughs> the pistachio cake. Nope. Oh, that doesn't even come close. Nope. G G the gingerbread gingerbread cookies yes I really like them without icing the chocolate mint brownies really like them and the mint fudge truffles that you make but those are hard to make those or they take, take long. a long time. And so we don't messy. get them a lot. So it's like... I think I would put the truffles down to a number three. Okay. And then put the cake out of four. And then it's a toss-up between the g the g the gingerbread cookies and the chocolate mint brownies. It's, it's don't I don't know. It's both. Why not both? Uh, I do like your red velvet cake, but I, I think I like the icing you do. That's got the you like the cream like the icing. like the tang to it, right? Oh crap, I don't think I bought it. There we go. Now let's hope this match will go longer than the men's tank team titles. Did we all make it? Um, in the heist? 13. Were there 13 people in the heist? Uh, 85%? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We all made it. Yay. Oh, nope. well. That doesn't count. What? Because it didn't come. Oh, it didn't break? break. Oh, okay. No. This got dismantled. Oh, Isabel was like, no, I'm going to walk all the way around you. So now that it's like half that up, does it be, do they ignore it? No, I guess not. <laughs> There's your answer, Carrie. Carrie with the questions. <laughs> Questioning Carrie. Ooh. So did you feel me toss and turn last night? I got up like twice. Nope, I did not know you got out of bed. And I finally fell asleep after about four. So I got about five hours roughly. Joshua, Joshua thank you for the follow. Is now following. Ask if and you shall receive it, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
So, uh, probably going to be napping again today. Nailed it. Oh, the table just collapsed on its own. Yeah, that's that's how it goes. Okay. Joshua, thank you for contributing to our Friday Night's Mid Event 17 Challenge Challenge. Hello, Joshua. Oh, well, no, Baker can't put it together. Yeah, I need. I oh well, actually, I don't need a jackpot right now. Although, look at where I'm at, right? Doing the what pose? What? Wow. Oh, I yeah. I was wondering what what would happen if they tried to set the ladder up beside another one and they both broke. Or count as two. Ladder. I mean table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, ladder. what are you talking about? Totally a ladder. Uh, okay. I'll have a look at it after. Uh, now maybe not then. Is it related to Bible Black or anything like that? Macho Man. Oh, wait. Current. current. Sorry, current. <laughs> I'll have to think about it. What's yours, dude? Oh, oh wow. Look, look at the table, table on a table. table. Come on. Aww. How did it just flip? Because her leg hit it. Oh. And she turned the wrong way. Roman Reigns. I definitely like Roman Reigns a lot more since he's come back as a heel. Oh, now they're just going to interrupt each other. Oh, oh there we go. There's, there's never one. more gets the first fall. Um... I did like him in S.H.I.E.L.D., like the, you know, but I, I didn't like when they tried to push him as a solo face, and, uh, well, I wasn't, I don't know. So I, I definitely like him now more, uh, current wrestling. Voodoo, thank you for the host, man. Good morning. Hi, Voodoo. <sighs> current wrestler, right? I don't know. I still like Asuka. Joshua, thank you for the host. Not sure. I have to really think about it, honestly. There's number and two. And there is a tie. 1-1. Next table break wins. Titles on the line. Nevermore defending. There are no tables? Well. No more tables? Uh, That's not good. There's one that's not broken in the ring. Uh, what oh, are you actually, talking no, about? it's gone now. Um, I think out of all the current wrestlers, who who I like the most. Um, and who always gets me laughing and liking his matches is Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn. He is a great heel. I think he's a great performer. Um, but I'm also looking at it from a, like, different point of view than I would have been years ago. So, I think... Uh, I liked uh, Shin Shinsuke, for sure. 
he um he was he, he's i mean i know i haven't seen him wrestle for a while so i don't know what's going on with him uh but we also didn't watch wrestling for a bit yeah i like um wow, there's like so many tables now <laughs> i liked um john morrison but i know he's no longer there yeah i like dolph ziggler but i know he's not really there now so uh more of my favorites are more old school it's my it's my thing pete dunn slowly turning back in to pete dunn yeah i really hope they go away from the stupid butch thing silly wow that the, the ring mat is bouncing around like crazy because there's too many tables can't support all the tables <laughs> Yeah. Nathan Jude 801 is now following. Nathan, dude, thank you for the follow. Uh, Butch was growing on me, just how maniac or manic he was acting. Ah, uh, I don't know. I saw this one, the one thing around where Walt, or Walter, or Gunther, Gunter, whatever, or Gunter, Walter. All right, it's Walter for crying out loud uh where him and sheamus are face to face and they're intense i didn't feel like it was that intense honestly i was like what the hell like come on man i i didn't feel it on honestly but i saw it and i know what they're trying to do but i didn't feel it but then seeing uh pete dunn like Losing his mind and ugh. I don't know. Well, uh, we may need to ban I that guy that. because um, that guy is being a troll. April, you can ban Voodoo right now. <laughs> right? Right, Voo? Yeah? Voo? You stinker. <laughs> I was like, Do not ban Voo, please. Uh, Josh, no. I haven't... Uh, we haven't really watched any WWE since... Uh, I'm going to say... Um, WrestleMania. And uh, watch it, the I did. Oh, uh -oh. oh, here we go. Nevermore defends the women's tag team titles. We haven't watched anything since WrestleMania. Just don't want to pay for it. And I don't want to go to the other crap websites and get it the you old. Know, all the way, wow, I don't I have time. I shouldn't bet at all today. All my bets have lost. Uh, I don't know who I bet on. You bet on Nevermore. I did? Yep. Yay! Pebbles! Here are your winners and still the tag team oh, champion! Who's this guy? I don't know. What the hell, man? Where's Jeffy? Where's our ref, man? Nevermore are your winners it's to pay out. Boom, ba boom, 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 boom. That guy's name's Bob. I don't know who that is. Breaking Vikings. Now, Voodoo, if I wasn't a Packers fan, I would probably be a Vikings fan. Uh, I like Vikings, I like Bears, I like Cowboys, but not as much as I like the Packers or Pittsburgh. So, have fun with that. But I'm not an avid, like, 
watcher. So, you know, you like the Cowboys? Well, I liked them back in the day with Emmett Smith. Man, that guy. Holy crap. Troy Aikman, right? And, or Troy Aik, Aiken, I forget his name. Aikman. And Emmett Smith. So, yeah. <laughs> Bye. Man, that he, guy could move. He said move. he liked them back in the day. Not right now. Yeah, now I don't really care, but... Packers, baby. Um, all right, we have the men's. What hard... you don't like the Bills? We have the men's hardcore title is on the line. Devin Fox is defending against Colonel Andres Rivera. Best two out of three falls, pinfalls, submissions, knockouts. Yes, two out of three falls and knockouts. Yeah. Stream rules. Falls count anywhere. Here we go. Maximum bet is 2,000. The following contest is Betting is open. Rules match and is for the Hardcore Championship. I like whatever team will get me less of vitriol. Yeah. Okay. I can go with that. Here's a challenger. Colonel Laudadice Rivera. First time being in a best two out of three falls match. He is owned by Rosa Cookie 73. Uh, does anybody follow pre Premier League? Because for Premier League, I don't follow it as much as I tried to. That one, the one, the one year. <laughs> but uh, I did watch a lot of games, and then I found that I was rooting for Aston Villa quite a bit. So I'm, I guess I'm an Aston Villa supporter. Quarter. Yeah. I don't get to watch a lot, so I don't I can't even remember when I last watched. It could have been when our computers were down here before the basement oh. was done. Yeah, it was been, it's been so a while. before we even had the computers upstairs. Yeah. So I do, but not as much since goals started taking up my time. Gotcha. I just don't want to pay for a subscription. I think trying to watch it free was terrible. Kel Gates, good morning. Here is your hardcore champ, Devin Fox. 1 0 in two out of three falls matches. He is owned by the guy that just unsubbed. De facto fiasco. We wish him well and hope he returns soon. He must be delirious from the lack of sleep. Yeah. To utter nonsense like that. I mean, it's not like you can do a custom one now, so... You know? Go. Two out of three falls. Pinfall submissions, knockouts. Ugh. Falls will count anywhere. Introducing the challenger from San Juan. Just the animation Rico, just weighing in at 240 pounds. Colonel Andres Rivera. And introducing the champion. From Toronto, Ontario, Canada. <laughs> what is the luck? Why are they zooming in? I. <laughs> Dude. They didn't zoom in on anyone else. No, but they zoom <laughs> right in on them, like, and give them the. 
kind of like a down side eye. Whoa. That is serious business, man. Watch out. Devin Fox is, like, ready to go. <laughs> oh, oh, Lord. Sometimes, man. But I thought he was a heel. What? No. Can the protagonist be a heel? Sure. Anti-hero. I, uh... You know, was mulling over last night while my legs were twitching. Uh... What, what it would look like if we changed our fan to be only heels versus faces. And I just can't get over, like, that somebody, like, like you could have a heel champion and have... You mean like Roman Reigns? You could have a heel champion and then have the top four contenders be heels and not get title shots because they're all heels. So then who does the heel champion defend against? The number five face? That's not really fair. Because then it'll right. just beat them. Most likely. And then you kind of give it and then then and then you kind of also doing heels versus faces, you're now splitting everyone in two. So you're no longer gonna have everyone can fight everyone. It's this group can only fight people on that group, so you've split their you split their uh, op opponents in half. What if we have people who don't want to be faces? Who don't want to be faces? So then there's we no set way them to, to heels. Oh. Yeah, that's that's possible too. Yeah, heal like like we would not acknowledge the heels and faces. Zorts the goblin title matches. cheer for one hundred bits. Your face is a healed weep. Zorts, thank you for the hundred bits. I appreciate it very much, Master Dweeb. Takes one to know one. I know what I know you are, but what am I? Candy Mandy for number one baby face in the company? Okay. <laughs> sure. Yeah. So, I, I I mean, if we did that, I'd have to get everyone to, de to declare if they're, if they're or heel or face. And then... Uh, we do let the, we do let universe mode, um, what? we do let them change, however, usually that comes during promos, and we don't usually let that happen. It could be that if we did the heels versus faces thing, well, we could add promos in there. And let the game do its thing, but you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude, bro! Oh, that was in the newts. I mean, anything goes. So I guess so. Even if it's in the newts. Oh God! Rawr! <laughs> Right in the newt newt. Dick hit city. <laughs> there is one fall for Colonel Andres. Wow. Devin Fox with the flippy dippies. Flippy dippy maneuvers. Wee. So the original tent was healed because of storyline fan reaction and such. You ended up babyface. Yeah. 
so the other thing too would be uh would tag teams would like you know both would have both or all or all members would have to be heel or babyface right and you know when there's a mix because sometimes i feel like like go look at meat and mech i feel like blob is heel no, I feel like Blob is heel and, me and, and, me and, me and Mechanic is face. I feel they're both faces. I feel like they're both? Yeah. Alright, alright. What about... Um... Go look at Hit Squad, okay? Ma Madison Windraker is clearly a heel who is in control of the face Alice Wright, so they wouldn't be able to tag to him. Free Alice Wright. Uh, Blob is face, mechanic is heel. Really? Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Like, um, so this could be knockouts too, right? And it could happen anywhere. Ooh, expecting any quick head hit is gonna do it. Alice is totally free. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, because she can totally wrestle on her own. Yep. Trying to think of other tag teams. Uh, they're not. They're opposite. Well, that could be opposite, right? I'd have Whoa, to go look at the list of our tag girth. teams. Hidden girth. Are uh, they both heels? I think Vincent Johnson would be heel, but when some lose him, I don't think would be heel. I think he'd be face. What about Think Tank? Uh, Are they both heels? I think they're both heels, yeah. Yeah. And Dominion is clearly heel. Well, <laughs> my wrestler would be, but Thomas Wolfridge, I don't think is. Maple Marksman, no. Uh, Devin Fox, I don't know. I mean, I mean, I thought he was a heel here, but maybe not. So that that would be a team that would have to change, right? I don't know. So like, there's some pros and cons to it, right? Uh, I guess it would really affect more the tag teams in terms of having the pool of people that they could wrestle or teams that they could wrestle because now you're gonna split split that in half toasty is face but i don't know about dr bacon oh they're both faces uh devin is a heel he just got over okay okay because now because now that they gave that side side eye <laughs> Oh, what? Oh, can you imagine if that knocked him out? I would laugh. Well, you did say headshot. Yep. Anything. Uh oh, I think this is going to be his first uh -oh. fall right here. Right here. Or not. Well, he's pinning him. Oh, Jeffy. Whoop, 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 whoop. oh no, it's, it's not, not on this screen. too late. It's not on this. Not on this uh, screen. Sorry. Rip. I guess I could like copy it down into the bottom corner, but I'd like to leave that whole line for moving between uh, pr profiles. Oh, going in for tr oh, there's That's his first out. is a knockout. What? Huh? Two! Oh! 
Wow, that could have counted as two because he knocked him out and he was still pinning. So it is one to one. Next pinfall, submission, or knockout is going to do it. Title on the line. Not no. that one. Perhaps this is what we should do for all of the hardcore titles now instead of having just knockout. one fall, make it two oh. out of three falls, and it go a little bit longer than it does for just a, a one fall match. Ooh. That move. That move. Boop! Right in the head. Boop! Uh, then how come... Oh, hold on, I missed that. How come every time Frog turns off the goggles to change the batteries, Alice is all like, Where am I? How did I get here? <laughs> Woe is me! I don't, I, I know, right? Uh, I'm faced with teams with heals all the time. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Ooh. Trying to knock him out with the baseball bat. Oh, here, here. There it is. Devin Fox retains the hardcore title. That's not... I didn't think that's how it was going to end up because Colonel Andre came out quick and got the first fall real quick. Yet again, my random bet failed. Sorry. Uh, I don't know if... Oh, no. My random bet failed too. Oh, let's clear that. Yeah, I'm kind of liking how long this match, how long the matches are going for the two out of threes. Justin, good morning. Hardcore champion, Showtime, Devin Fox. We'll see how the women's hardcore title goes. That's next. I could be changing the title matches for hardcore titles to be two out of three. Do, 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 do. Da -da 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 -da. Man, I am seeing a lot of stuff. All right, GG de facto. Uh oh, I didn't do payouts. Devin Fox is your winner. Sorry. Hardcore title on the line. Isabella Ramon is going to be defending against Furious Frankie. Pinfall submissions and knockouts. Extreme rules. Falls count anywhere. And uh, two out of three falls. There's a heist. Random betting is the way of the future. I like doing random betting. Uh, except uh, for my own wrestler. Because then at least I can say not rigged if I win. All right. Wow. That was quick. Oh, hold on. Hold on. What? Yep. Smell it. Okay. Sounds like maple. Voodoo, thank you for contributing to our Friday Night's Made Event 17 Challenge Challenge. Okay. Tim Horton's Maple Coffee. When you open the package up, it does not smell like maple. It smells like the coffee's burned. When you make it, it does not smell like maple. It's, it, it smells like the coffee's burned. When you drink it, it does not taste like maple. There's not even a hint of it. And it does taste okay. It's not terrible. Not the, not, I'm not a biggest fan, but not maple. Okay? It is not... Not until you have what's left that smells like maple. Now it smells like maple when there's only that. That's not maple, yo. 
so I don't know if they skimped on it or, to write to Tim or what. But we need six more people for the heist. Did we do a heist start before Over, I start yeah, the match? Yeah, somewhere already okay. did. Did you burn the coffee? No. All right, here we go. Furious Frankie versus Isabella Ramon for the hardcore title. Maybe you should stop burning. Dude, bro! The champion versus champion contest is Listen. How do you burn a coffee match. with an arrow press? Yeah. You can't. Hardcore championship! All right, here is the challenger. She is your Canadian champion and will be defending that later on in the show. That title is not on the line in this match. She is Furious Frankie, one in three and two out of three falls matches. She is owned by Toasty Posty Cam, Toasty. who did curse out Guth first when he picked John Tavares. <laughs> Toasty, really? <laughs> oh, yeah. As soon as he picked him, Toasty was like, oh, and then I looked, I'm like, what? Oh, like, we all, oh, yeah. You should have paid attention. Toasty saw it first and was, and I agree with him. Like, how did we all forget about him? Yeah. 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 Yep. Did I bet? Oh, I lost on the heist, eh? What the hell? Yeah, I did bet. I burn I, I, I burn coffee as bad as Zorts burns them with bits. Oh, hey oh <laughs> You're so funny. You must be a Vikings fan. Here is Isabella Ramon, your women's hardcore champion. This is going to be the first time for her being in a two out of three falls match. <laughs> she is owned by Scurvy Dog. I almost said he is owned. Wow, Zorance, really? Really? <laughs> Really? Sometimes it feels like Izzy owns you? Um, no, Scurvy Dog. That is 100% incorrect, and you had better watch where you say that, because if your wife ever hears you say that, you are going to be in the doghouse. You see what I did there? hey yo, Yeah, yeah. Manny, you were getting fitted for a week. I've got a pain back. in, like in the, like the back, left shoulder blade, like right beneath it. So you kind of got to do the thumb and knuckle thing to get beneath the blade and get in the meat there. But I'm trying to like, see if I can crack it. But it's not working. Damn it. Oh well. I'm just dancing on the screen. Screen. That's all. Dance, dance, dance. And a dance, 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 and a dance, dance, dance. Your wife assisted with Stardust Creation. Nice. From Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Furious Frankie. There was a challenger. Furious Frankie. And introducing the champion from Rancho Cucamonga, California. <laughs> Cucamonga. She's the women's hardcore <laughs> champion. They do, Toasty. The wanderer, Isabella Rome. That's how she goes. There's your champ. That feeling you are describing is me. What? Where it's like Seattle. Ah. <laughs> uh, what? Where? You, where you need to like crack your back a little bit. Hardcore title. 
If uh, 2K doesn't fix her stuff, we're gonna switch her back, because I don't like how it turned out. I don't know. Anyways, here we go. Best two out of three falls. Uh, the paint in the back, yeah. Fun fact, Rancho Cucamonga is the city north of... Oh, really? I, I do... No, I don't know. They don't live there. They lived in Merced. Merced? M-E-R-C-E-D? Mm. Yeah, California. And they did, and that's how, like, knowing them, that's how I knew that there was a city in California named on on the Terio. Back from my truck days. Your aunt, your aunt lives there. Nice. Ontario is the best place to live and grow. The LA Kings AHL team is there. Really? Nice, nice. I mean, who are Kings fans, man? If you're from if you're from Cal, Cal, Cal California, you should be a Sharks fan. That's it. Period. Oh, <laughs> you knew that though. <laughs> uh, the the obvious trolling is obvious. Do um, you remember being so confused when I found out the Kings team was the Ontario Reign? Um, Toasty, I did too, and when I first heard that back in the day, I thought that they had actually moved the London Knights to become the Reign, and they were still playing in London, though. You're in California, you should probably be a fan of a team that's won a cup. Listen, one day, <laughs> one day the Sharks will do it, Okay. One day. Uh, you used to have a racetrack that was a copy of in Indianapolis, really. Uh, you haven't been to any games since the plague, but I gotta get to get but I gotta get to a few rain games, okay. Wow, Toasty. <laughs> Toasty, what the hell man? Alright, Josh. Yeah, oh, hey, Josh. In this in this stream, people come and go, lurk. They gotta take care of business. Yeah, they gotta like eat. It's all good, man. It's all good. It's all good. We all come from different walks of life. Well, out comes the sledgehammer, and Frankie's like, nah. You get my steel toe boots. I think she got steel toe boots on. I think Frankie put got steel toes just for this match. Oh. I mean, we have to do stuff. Actually, doing it maybe not right. Yeah, you have to go run to. I have to go run. I have to go run recycling to the center at one o'clock. Okay. Well. Uh, well, Toasty, what time oh, is your flight tomorrow? Because you said Monday. Like, I don't think I would pack until tonight. Well, how much do you need? Well, it's going for two weeks, no? Two or three weeks, right? Just pack one week's worth of clothes. And then do laundry. They don't pick up glass, so you gotta take it to a facility? Oh, we have to put ours in a box and label it sharks. Well, if it's shattered. Oh, Jeffy got hit, but didn't go down. Um, that's only if it's broken. But if you just put it into the recycling bin, they'll, they'll take it. Oh, like jars? Like jars and, you know, like pasta bottles. Uh, yeah. You know, your pasta sauce bottles. Noon. But you're sleeping at your parents' place tonight, so... Okay, yeah, uh, yeah, so, I mean... Are you gonna have luggage? Are you going for two or three weeks? Like, is it two or three? I wanna say it's like three, but 
Two. Okay. Two. Um. I don't know if you're a picture guy. Uh. Do you take a lot of pictures? Uh, like when you go someplace you've never been? Me. You know? Oh. That <laughs> always happens. Um. Because if so, are you planning on posting them? Because I, I would love to see, like, um, uh, like, um, some of the places in Scotland, like castles and stuff. And if you ever get to, um, the Fraser, the, the Fraser, uh, home, 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 homelands, uh, then. No, there's no unlurk. Please button. let me know. Yeah, there's no unlurk. <laughs> you just show up and say hi. <laughs> it's hello. I'm back. La la la. So I, I do kind of like the length of this match compared to the single falls. So Toasty, if you do post some um are you planning on posting them anywhere, like any one place, or like on Twitter or Discord, wherever, whenever you feel like it? Like, is there one per one place that I can go to and be like, yeah, Toast is gonna post stuff here, and then we can be concerned when you don't post anything, be like, uh oh. Maybe he pulled the sword out of the stone and he's the new king of England. He doesn't want that responsibility. Um, I would prefer Toasty over Charles. No, but Toasty wouldn't want that responsibility. Well, then he'd have to deal with the whole king... Oh, hold on. No, I'm not even going to go there. Nope. Nope. Because of his name. Oh. And then having to deal with being confused with the other guy. So you'd probably uh oh. oh, well there's one. Furious Frankie got the first fall. Probably post double post to Instagram and Twitter. What? Oh, what? I don't know what's going on there. Why is it I don't know why there was two. Why are there two bells? I'm still going to count that as one. Can you guys go back and... Because I and don't think... I don't think that Frankie would have gotten hit to be knocked out. Unless it's like one and, and one. Yeah, but what would have happened? Least favorite wrestler of all time? Ooh. Uh, oh, you mean... Pause the game and look at the meters. Oh. Just to make sure. So as soon as I pause, will it show the score? Like as soon as I pause it, so I can like pause it and then un and unpause it, like right, like right away. Furious okay. Frankie I guess it is matter. your winner and new hardcore champion. Um, not a fan of Hulk Hogan. WrestleMania Five. Yeah. You know what it was? It was the whole guessing that it was going to happen that really pissed me off and actually drove me out of wrestling. Uh, I was not a fan of the Warrior. I, I just, I, I, a mindless, and then, give me, give me a freaking break, dude. Come on, man. That actually got me out of wrestling was when they gave him the belt. I would prefer Hulk Hogan having the belt over that guy. Furious Frankie, congratulations, Toasty. 
on winning the hardcore title. Okay, let's do that, and then we will start the next match. I did payouts. Let's clear this. Good there. Hogan winning the belt over Sammich was the best thing to ever happen at a mania. F you. <laughs> yeah, there was something going on there. I, I, I kind of feel like there is a fall that happened that happened for Isabella Ramon. But Even we didn't, though it didn't look like it. But we didn't really see it. Yeah. Like, didn't really make sense. Listen, my, my, Macho Man was great. And even then, I did like him losing to Ricky. It was great. Uh, what place was it you wanted pictures of? Well, if you could, uh, if you happen to get to the Fraser Clan homelands, <laughs> that's my clan. Fraser. F R A S E R. It's not my last name, but that's that's my clan. Um, <laughs> Scotland? Somewhere. <laughs> I would have to look it up, man. I don't know. But if you just happen to see anything that has Fraser on it. <laughs> I mean, didn't we take over all of Scotland? So there's going to be a pub called the Fraser Pub. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm a Fraser clan. No. I'm a Fraser clan and uh, I'm a Ricci Paisan. The both. All right. We have. That's not it. This is it. There we go. I must open the wrong betting. We have the men's championship is on the line in a steel cage. LB Fraga defends against Toasty. Pinfalls and submissions only. No escaping. Two out of three falls because that's what we're doing. Maximum bet is 2,000. Good luck. The following contest is a steel cage match. It is for uh, all of Scotland, Dizzle. Championship. And it's not a lord, it's a lard. Here is the challenger. No, not lard. <laughs> Laird. Toasty. First time being in a best two out of three falls match. He is owned by Toasty. Toasty can. Toasty. Zorx is starting up a heist. Join the heist. Yeah, Toasty, I honestly, I don't know exactly where it is. Uh, I just like if you happen to see anything about Fraser, it'd be cool to see a picture. I had a, I think I had a book of Scottish tartans. Might have gotten rid of it. I don't it's know. possible. Because they're like, we, we're not gonna need this. Yeah. I know you lost the actual tartan in a movie. Yeah. But that was before. That was like. Oh, that was a long mom. time ago. Yep, that yeah. was with my mom's moving back in the day. From Malton. We have 10 in the heist. We need six more. Here comes the biggest heel of them all. He is your champ. And if you don't show him respect, he will know because... He's got the goggles. He sees everything. LB Fraga is your men's champion. First time being in a best two out of three falls match. He is owned by Fraga 2.
Il nostro primo borg. We need five more for the heist. I'm not gonna bet. My bets have all been crap. Uh oh. That's trouble. We need four more for the heist. FOMO? I have FOMO all the time. Gets me into trouble. Oh, I didn't bet. We need Introducing three more for the challenger heist. from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Weighing in at 290 pounds. Nothing about nobody. Post E. Speaking of Borg, you may have to get a Borger while out this afternoon. Dude, bro. From Milwaukee, Pizza Wisconsin. Pizza and then burger. Weighing in mm. at 163 pounds. That was a close up there. men's champion, L. We can't see his eye. So we don't know if he's giving side eye. Fun fact, those are his eyes. What a twist. So those are actually his eyes. He actually just attaches a band around it to make it look like that they're goggles. Don't mutant shame him, okay? Is LB a mutant? Uh, so Google tells you the Frasers are from around Inverness. Okay. And I'm explicitly going to Inverness. Oh. Nice. Okay. So now I had to figure out <laughs> what landmarks you want him to go to. Well, if you run into a Fraser, it's probably related to my great grandfather or grandfather, I should say. Somewhere. He's not gonna go around asking. Yeah. What's your last name? Are you a Fraser? <laughs> what's your clan? Now, if you come across any of the, uh, what's the clan that the Frasers always had wars with? Uh, Macintosh, Mackenzie. Something Mac, and Neth is part of that clan. McDonald. Yeah. Is it McDonald? Yeah, and apparently the Frasers screwed them over. And then paid for it when they when a bunch of them got killed. So, yeah, yeah. Apparently, uh, we don't like them very much. Is it McDonald's or McDonald's? Mac. Mac. McDonald. That's true, scurvy dog. It's true. It is the only ring. McDonald's? No. Isn't the difference there between Mick and Mac, isn't that like Scottish and Irish kind of deal? No? Like I like the know. MC is Irish and the MAC is Scottish? Or is it just, eh, whatever. And somebody just didn't put the A in it. Just <laughs> and just, nah, yeah. I mean, that's probably what it is, is somebody just messed up up the name yeah yepers we mick mac patty whack give a dog a bone something something this old man home Tell this old man to go home. Fire Lord, FGH is now following. Fire Lord, thank you for the follow. Give a cat a bone? I don't know. Whoa! Whoa, Dazul! Whoa! Well, LB's going to the top. Whee! Every time they go up there, I think there's going to be a bug and they're going to try to escape the cage. So apparently, ducks want to give cats bones. Whose bones? Wow. <laughs> that came out wrong. Scratch that. Get it? Scratch like a cat? Meow. Eh? 
<laughs> I don't think he meant to do it as a he pun. He did. No, he, he did. did. Yes, he did. No. Yes, he did. It is Dazul. Oh, no. Oh. Into the cage. And power bombed. He's like, yes, I did. No. I meant to give that furry feline friend of mine a feathery bone. Oh. What? I meant to give that furry feline friend of mine a feathery femur. Alliteration. What? I said alliteration. Damn it. Make me repeat myself. What? I said alliteration. Damn it. Don't make me repeat myself. Lord Tundra and Jesus by. Man. I don't know what all y'all's problem what? is. I said I don't know what all y'all's problem is. Y'all can't listen. What? I said y'all can't listen. Come on, man. Bobby. I expected more from you. <laughs> <laughs> Not as that you all say it at the same time. Oh no. What? What? Oh. What? 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 I, I said, oh, what? oh no, oh no. What does it look like? <laughs> what? Huh? What? What? Does it look like I care? Yeah, I'd love to ask you about Oh no. Huh? Crowd legs. What? Legs. what? what? A Tom's can cheer for 10 bits. What's a cat's favorite cereal? Mice Krispies. Adam, thank you for the 10 bits. That was decent. decent. Hello, I wish to register a complaint. Sorry. I have a bin for complaints. It's over there. And I think Bob was going through the recycling bin again. Yeah. Because there's like, papers, papers out. I, I dude. It's not they a garbage food. bin, man. They well, it's not food. a garbage bin. He's looking for stuff to screw around with. But it's just papers, so have fun with that, buddy. Maybe it has to be higher up. <laughs> and there's no lid. Mercy. Oh, look at my chesticles. Apparently, this dude thinks he's perfect. Wow. Wow. He likes to stay positive. Even though he has no pause. That guy is crazy like crackers. The school on my route has had that joke on their electronic message board for the past three months. Except it's an owl, and not a cat. Oh, yeah, owls eat mice, yeah. Yeah. Mice crispy, so why aren't they changing it? You should go in there on your route and be like... I've seen this for the past three dude. months. Oh, yeah. That's not what they would really be saying. All these close calls. And still no falls. Ain't that a hoot? See? He is very punny. He's being a pun guy. Huh? <laughs> Come on. Don't climb out. There we go. <laughs> oh, oh my god. That will be pulling out all the stops. Yeah, see you even got uh items to be like yes. <laughs> oh, there's, there's a, a tap. tap. LB gets the first fall, one nothing. Getting Toasty to tap. Oh, the rip his arm out. Please, 
โยมมวยจ้าจานนี้Yes, she's not here. t o s t a kicks out. The z u l z a is looking over his shoulder. Is r o s a here? <laughs> <laughs> so afraid of Rosa. I I don't want to get her mad at me. So, yeah. Oh, jeez. Ah, uh, did he? I think he hit it. Oh, he's gonna go to the top again. Good lord! We oh my god! There he nailed it better that time. A flying flippy dippy frog leg drop. Oh, the physics defying tadpole maneuver. Toasty just kicks out. My god! Oh, he has to face this now. Oh god! Another one? No! Nope, here we go! Frog legs. Frog legs that. Could be it right in the middle of the ring. One, two, and three. LB Fraga wins it. Two nothing. Is he the only one that, that defended his title? No. And the tag team women. Uh, Devon Fox did. Because it seems there were so many titles changing hands. Hmm. Only one person bet on LB Fraga, and it wasn't LB. Nope. A Tom's can cheer for ten bits. Dogs can't operate MRI machines, but cats can. Get the Here is your head winner. shake. And still, man. Thank you for that 10 bits, Adams. That was terrible. This is true. I can't operate an MRI machine, but your wife can. So is your wife a cat? Did you get married to a cat? Oh. I didn't think that cats and dogs got belong. Apparently, they do. Hmm. Huh? Myth busted. Yeah. GG LB. Wow, I'm getting. I got another whiff of the maple. Oh, I thought you were gonna say you got. You have a hot flash. I, I have feel. Oh, you're so sweaty. My legs, my back. The door is open too. Kiri, I don't know what's going on. My body is like f this stuff. I, I, I'm, I'm done. You know. I don't know why I'm getting all these hot flashes. It's not like I drank the coffee like right now, you know. No, just a guy that likes to brag about his talented wife. She's a great gal. She must be right there, <laughs> and I have to say, knowing that. She is also fantastic. Even though I've never met her before, I still know that she's pretty awesome. Oh, she's not there. <laughs> Actually, no. I, I I don't believe you. I think it's a setup. t o s i said that t o s i is no longer his favorite. Uh, you had a thought the other day. I forgot what meds you're on, but that kind of stuff happened to me when I started on mine. So I'm on s e r t r a m i n e something like that, and uh. But the hot stuff, like the hot flashes thing and lack of sleeping, uh, happened before I started taking it. So I don't think it's a medication thing. It could be my Crestor, but I don't think so. I don't think that's a side effect. Of, You've been taking that. But I've been taking that for quite a while. Yeah. So. Um. All right, we have the Canadian Championship, the Women's Canadian Championship on the line. Furious Frankie defending against the Velvet Assassin in a is now following. ladder match. Uh, Kid, thank you for the follow. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that screen. There we go. Let's get down to ringside. Maximum bet is two thousand.
for a Canadian championship. It's Velvet Assassin. And Velvet Dove is taking on Kay for the women's championship after this match. Here is a challenger, a Velvet Assassin, 11 and 23, 0 and 1 against Furious Frankie. She is owned by Big Bad Bobby D. I'm smarter than you, and you haven't even figured it out yet. I didn't even know. But I'm glad you told me. Uh, this is why you don't want me running the MRI machine. <laughs> I got carded at the liquor store, and my blockbuster card accidentally fell out. The cashier said, never mind. <laughs> Thank you for the 10 bits. Yes. Now, did I have a black button? Yeah, I think I did okay. at one point. I did. I think by the time that I got one, it was already not really like we weren't really doing it as much. Because Blockbuster, it's you just watch stuff elsewhere. Here is Furious Frankie, 17 and 15. Again, 1 and 0 against the Challenger, Velvet Assassin. She is owned by the man heading to Scotland, uh, Toasty, Posty Cam. Toasty! Toasty! Oh, did that Toasty, not... are you going to wear a kilt over there while you're at the castle? Why? Why would he wear... Toasty, do you have any Scottish jeans? I mean, you what? don't have to have Scottish, Scottish jeans in you to wear a kilt, but... What's a Scottish... I wouldn't have thought he'd oh. be... You're talking about jeans. So you've worn a kilt, <laughs> kilt before? Yeah, jeans. G-E-N-E-S. I was like, what are Scottish jeans with the J? <laughs> like uh, plaid jeans? <laughs> you kept renting even though, uh, even when I was living up in Illinois, mostly video games though. Um, you do have Scottish hair rotation. Nice, dude. Uh, what's your clan? Do you know? Oh, it's going to be McDonald's. If it's a McDonald's, <laughs> uh, we're going to have some issues, I think. I did not bet. Good morning, Taven. Hi, Taven. Wakey, wakey. Trousers, stinky. I mean, eggs and bakey. I have never had haggis. I... Don't know if I really want to try it, honestly. Nope, Zorts. Nope. Scottish. That's it. Sorry. And I don't know what Greeka is, but uh, no. Nope, Scottish only. Sorry. Now, th this is going to set him off to a whole thing. And then it'll be like, mission accomplished. <laughs> and I shouldn't have said anything because he was right in the middle of typing something. And now he's like, backspace, deleting everything. Haggis is delicious. There's a reason people still eat it. Hmm. I haven't tried it myself. Not sure about clan. Uh, I haven't looked too much into it. Uh, you don't know, do know your great grandfather's surname name was Gordon. Well, now you're going to go look at it. Yep. Um, Scottish Clan Gordon. Clan Gordon, <laughs> also known as the House of Gordon, is a Scottish clan. So I guess not enemies with yours. Um, in the 13th century, the Gordons supported William Wallace in the cause of, in, of independence. Uh, I don't think you see anything about the Frasers. Here's a 
faster way. Uh, Fraser. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> the 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 tra the traditional enemies. Oh, of the Forbeses, such as Clan Leslie, Clan Irvin, Clan Sutton, sided with the Gordons. While Protestant families, such as Clan Keith, Clan Fraser, and Clan Crichton, sided with the Clan Forbes. So twenty Gordons were killed at the at a banquet held at the Forbes Drummonor Drummonor Castle. In 1571. So, I guess your clan forded, or your clan sided with the Gordon, or no, with, with the Forbes. With the Forbeses, mine sided. No, hold on. No, other clans sided with the Gordons. My clan sided with the Forbes, who were fighting with the Gordons. So we were kind of at each other's throat. Clad Ir Clan Irvin or Irving? Irvin. I R V I N E. Let's see if there's. Oh, there's another reference of Fraser. Um, yeah. Oh, I like your tartan. It's blue, green, and black. Yeah, it's nice. I like it. Cool. Do you remember cool, what cool. color yours was? Nope. Was it red? Nope. I don't remember. It's been too long. Okay, just look it up on... I guess I could. <laughs> just see. Uh, Scottish Clan Fraser... Oh, it's oh, yeah. red. Very red. Uh, the Frasers fought alongside Robert the Bruce. Oh, is Velva Saxon oh, gonna run away? Oh boy, with this? she has fun in ladder matches. Oh boy, Furious Frankie is down and out. Velvet Assassin is just like, listen, I am working away on this class. Oh my God, I can't find the <laughs> hole though. Holy crap! Come on, Bobby. <laughs> Wow. Get it in. Get it in. Get it in. Nope. <laughs> They're like, whoa. Yeah. The crowd. There. There we go. Nope. <laughs> One more. And Velvet Assassin is your new women's Canadian champion. Congratulations. Bobby! Even though she's injured. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> It'd be funny to see if this makes her not be injured. Here's your winner and new Northern Champion Dangerous The Assassin! You're in the other room and all you hear is Bobby, get it in! <laughs> Imagine my confusion. What? <laughs> Bobby can't find the hole! Payouts. Uh, let me go here. One more match to go. Women's Championship. In the cage, two out of three falls, pinfall submissions, no escaping. K defends her title against Velvet Dove. They both have the same finisher for submission. They do. It is the K lock versus Win Dove's Cry. <laughs> and they both have the booty one, too. Yes. I think they have nearly the same move, the same move, move so it's set. like they're they're fighting themselves. Um, I think they were both based off Naomi. I think they, I think that's who it was. Maybe uh, I'm not 100 percent sure though. All right, here we go. Velvet Dove challenging for the title against K. Maximum bet is two thousand. Again, best two out of three falls. The following champion versus champion contest is a steel cage match. 
Yep. And is for the Women's Championship. Here is one half of the Women's Tag Team Champs. Nevermore. Velvet Dove, hashtag no pants. She's two and two in two out of three falls matches. Never before taken on K. She is owned by Velvet Dove. Velvet Dove. All right, dude. Pack away, buddy. Pack it in. Pack it up. Pack it in. Let me begin. You need, you're a violator. Something, a raider. Wearing air raiders. What you're yeah. talking about. It's a part of a song. Pack it up, pack it in, let me begin. Is it uh, House of Pain? Back in the day? Maybe? Here is a champion! Adams is correct. K! First time for her being in a two out of three falls match. She is owned by Nick No Handles. Turn up! Yeah! Toasty, if I don't see you, you be a good boy. Be safe, be healthy, buddy. Do not lick faces, but please do try to pull the sword out of the stone. I would swear my oath of fealty to you in a heartbeat, my lord. In a heartbeat. Toasty is an honorable man. Introducing the challenger from Parts Unknown, Violet. And introducing the champion from wow. Norfolk, Virginia, she is the women's champion, K. I mean, technically that's true because Velvet Dove is one of our. She was here first. Oldest wrestlers, right? Yeah. K came in a fair amount of time after, months, you know, months and months. Isn't imitation the highest form of flattery? Sure. Sure. All right, here we go. Two out of three falls. Kane defending the title. I wonder if this is going to be a quick one because of the subs. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Hey, Trend Killer, how are you? Good uh, afternoon. Going to the shed. Not me. I ain't going <laughs> to the shed. I've been a good boy. Why would I go to the shed? Why would you send me to the shed? Trend Killer. Diamond Cutter versus RKO. Wait, what? Are they the same move? I thought the Diamond Cutter was something else. What? I mean, I didn't really get to watch him a whole lot, so... You're, you're in the shed doing only God knows what. Ah, uh, please keep my shed uh, clean. <laughs> Maybe he has to get or, down. <laughs> or if you do make a mess, just uh, clean it up when you're done. DDP, DDP even used to hit it from out of nowhere. Okay. The giver just jumps a little more when giving an okay. Okay. Hmm. 
Yeah, so back then I was very anti anything that wasn't uh, WWF. Silly, but so I didn't get to watch a lot of that stuff. Kind of wish I had. I mean, I have looked back at some of the like times where they made like big announcements where Hulk Hogan, like everyone realized he, he had turned heel. It's like, what? You know, okay. And then uh, Scott Hall came over first, I believe, and then he brought in Kevin Nash. And after that, I don't know. There was like so many different versions or different groups of them. Like so subgroups or is like blue and I don't know. Uh, whatever. Uh, growing up in Canada, you get a lot more exposure to WWF. So it makes sense. Yeah. Um, we, we could. Uh, so WWF Raw was on TSN. Whereas I think I could watch... Uh, WCW Nitro or Mon Monday Nitro. I think I could watch it on TBS. I think. I want to say. Turner Broadcasting, which is Atlanta. It's the same people that own WCW or Turner owned it, right? I think. But. Uh, so we got both, but. I would only, uh... Ah, uh, Voodoo, I never even knew that that was a thing. I just knew oh. that the hearts... Uh-oh, here we go. I just knew that the hearts were, uh, a wrestling family, and the father had trained a lot of people. Oh, there there's we go. A there's one for Velvet Dove. Yeah, I... I hate I wish I had watched more wrestling. But. Okay, we'll kick out. Kay has got a a uh, two nothing hole to come out of, right? She's got to get two in a row. Uh, Brent Hart isn't a national hero. I mean, he is now. I, well, when he became a hero. Um. Yeah, like, I, I, I guess what got me for wrestling was the characters of World Wrestling Federation. And then what got me out of wrestling was the characters of World Wrestling Federation. It just... I got out of it. Like, in honestly, Voodoo, if it wasn't for you, Vu, um, Emperor Paz, thank you for the follow. Voodoo, if it wasn't for you, I don't think I would have had the same appreciation for wrestling overall as a, as a thing, you know, as a art. Um, if I hadn't had lurked on Zorts and watched your stream and all that stuff, right? Um, and, and since then, I really started watching wrestling for the skill of it and doing the moves and doing them correctly and making sure you're not botching them, for want of a better term, I guess. Uh... Uh oh, this could be it. Could we get a new champ? When does cry? Is Kay gonna cry yes. twice? She does. Velvet Dove is our new women's champion. Hart sort of declared himself a national hero, but after Survivor Series, he had the title. E yeah. Um, I wasn't really watching wrestling a whole lot back then, but I did hear about it, and I was like, yeah, whatever. And watching it back and reading about all the things, they were both, both Hart and McMahon, they could have done things differently. 
I don't think fault lies on either side. I think they were both. I think McMahon had his reasons, and I think they were kind of correct ish, but how we went around it. Hart, you know, I, yeah, I think they were both at fault. Congratulations, Velvet Dove, on becoming our new women's champ. GG. Congo Rats. All right, let's do payouts. Velvet Dove is your winner. Hey, I got the right bet. Imagine that, eh? Imagine that. This, and then we can go like this. Nope, I don't want to do that. I want to go. There we go. Whoa, don't want to hear me. Don't want to hear that jerk face. Uh, okay, let's look at the things and stuff. Montreal isn't even the original screw job. Look up Wendy Richter versus the Spider. Fabulous Moolah. Um, Vu, that sounds familiar. I do kind of recall. Was it? Didn't um, Fab? Wasn't she wearing like a black mask or something like that? Didn't she win the title even though? Richter didn't really get pinned, pinned, right? You know? And uh, and then they took off her mask and, oh, it's Fabulous Moolah or something like that. I, I, I do remember something about that where Moolah had like a black mask on or something like that. And Wendy Richter got out of favor because of some of her opinions and behind the scenes, I think. Hey, Rosa, how are you? Hi, Rosa. I'm going to look it up again. Uh, Richter. It's okay, Rosa. And you can Moolah. watch the VOD. Spider. Match. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I, I remember that. She tried to shoot on Richter, but couldn't pin her with Jet. Um, going to work herself into a shoot, brother. Who? What? 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 Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. Um, yeah, we go to next show. Let's see if anybody got... Oh, seven news. Here we go. It's going to be title changes. Alice Wright has been cleared from injury. Chris Phoenix has been cleared from injury. <laughs> Why? What can we be are all what? waiting with bated breath for the one person that I, I mean, <laughs> I'm waiting for this, right? Velvet Dove has won the title. Yep. First Frankie has won the title. Uh, doing okay. A little hot, but Apparently, I'm going through the change, so I don't know. Win some, lose some has won the title, yeah. Toasty is oh, no. no longer medically fit to compete after his injury. That ladder match. Well, Toasty is uh, no longer going to be booked for a bit. Severe injury. This is maybe, our first one maybe, in a while. Maybe he'll, Toasted. he'll be back when he's back from yeah, vacation. Yeah, maybe, because he's going on vacation, right? <laughs> Great timing. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we know that one. And uh, no, that this one we know. That was from yesterday. Let's just double check. And nothing on Velvet Assassin. Uh, sweet Pa, yeah, that's new. Okay. So. Oh, Toasty, you're still here. Toasty! Look! Sorry, dude. You're severely injured now. <laughs> I don't know when you're going to be back, man. Because, uh... Oh, do you have any titles? No, he just lost it. Okay. Right? Let's just double check. Titles Canadian. Oh, okay. He just... So, in this case, no one can cash in for the... 
Canadian title. If um, Toasty is not recovered by the time we start doing our number one matches for our next pay-per-view in a couple weeks, then the title will be vacated and there won't be any poutine belt match. It will be actually... Oh, that's Cause, right. Cause right. Hold on. Won it. Win some won it. Never yeah. mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never it just mind. Didn't get updated. Right. Because I didn't do the stats yet. Okay. Sorry. But still, Never mind. You can't, can't do. Yeah. You can't <laughs> book a match with Toasty. You can't do a match with um, Poutine Pounders. Sorry about that. My bad. My bad. Stone Tunny. Uh, rest in peace, Jack Tunny. I I liked him as the resident I I, I I I I always liked him as like because like he never rest like I never saw him wrestle and he was always like I'm the guy in charge because at the time I didn't know right Stone Russo huh? you know what it's worth it fuck you Zorts what? I who is this guy <laughs> <laughs> Zorts All right, uh, we're just gonna double check injuries, right? Um, okay, so Alice, right? Yep, she's recovered. Chris Phoenix, this way, this way. Nope. And Sweet Paw. Still injured? Y yes. Toasty. Yep. Severe injury. And our favorite, who is apparently never going to recover, and is your new women's Canadian champion, wrestling with a concussion, I guess. I don't know. Velvet Assassin. She has been injured since, uh, let's see. It's been, a, it's been minor, but it's been since, uh, where's Velvet Assassin new? Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Holy crap. Been a lot of people that have been hurting. Months. We're into August here. There it is. August the 14th. It's nearly been a month. Nearly. Of real time. What the hell, man? And in and in game, we typically do a show a week. So how many shows has that been, right? It's been months and months and months of in-game time. She should have been back by now. Okay, our next show will be Monday night at 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, where we will continue on with some matches, uh, things and stuff. Uh, we will be having a Wednesday show this week at 1 o'clock. So we'll have Monday night at 7, Tuesday night at 7, Wednesday afternoon at 1. Uh, we don't usually have the Wednesday afternoon matches, just every once in a while. Um, words are hard. Extreme rules, right? Extreme rules. What happened to us? What to us, see? My make match is for tomorrow. Um, well, can yeah, you, you save can't. Until you come back? Yeah, if you want to save it, you can save it. It's fine. Yep. Unless you just want to use and put somebody else in. Okay, you want to sub Saren? All right. Okay. I hadn't booked it yet. All right. Uh, speaking of make matches, let's see. What do we got? That's outstanding. Uh. LB, you have a singles or triple threat match still out there. De facto has a single or triple threat, and Bobby the Brain has a singles or triple threat match still out there waiting to be re redeemed. Um, doop, 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 doop. Wow, I am hot. Uh, got another wave, man. What the hell? 
Carrie, Dazul, Great One, J Rod, DeFacto, Voodoo, Josh, thank you for the hosts for today's show. I appreciate it very much. Let's bring this over. You're hot, of course you are. I uh, wasn't being conceited, man. I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, no worries. I mean, like, it's not, I'm not in a rush. It's just the only thing I kind of want to avoid is if there is a bunch of them and then all of a sudden everyone would like to cash them in. Then I have to start, like, um, start saying, well, this is going to count as your one match for that week if we get a bunch of them all at once because it's like... Stone Ground. Hey man, dude. Uh, I think we briefly talked about doing a, a a fake calendar. Well, like a real calendar, but like a gag one. With the wrestlers. Well, having us dress up as wrestlers and then making a cal a calendar. What? Yeah. In different poses. Uh, Adams, Dazul, Ali, Six, De facto. Tiber, Vu, De facto, K Breezy, and Calvert. Thank you for the links and the retweets. I appreciate it very much. I, like I like any links, retweets, any simple clicks. It it actually does a lot. So thank you very very much. I appreciate it. Serious long, because that's how I'm gonna say it now. Serious long. Zorts, thank you for the 100 bands. Toasty, thank you for the resub at tier 2. Dude, bro. Um, I mean, you can practice your Klingon moves over in Scotland, too. I think they would be okay with that. If you came out with a sword, they'd be fine. Be fine. It'll be fine. What could go wrong? You could end up Are being the new <laughs> king of England. Right? Adam, thank you for the 100 bit. Joshua, thank you for the follow. Nathan, thank you for the follow. Zorz, thank you for the 100 bits. Fire Lord, thank you for the follow. Adams, thank you for the 10 bits. Adams, thank you for the 10 bits. Kid, thank you for the follow. Adams, thank you for the 10 bits. And Emperor Paz, thank you for the follow. The Almighty Al Gore Rhythm. Uh, hey, what? Al Gore? Are we back in 2000 again? Are we going to start to look at chans that didn't get completely removed on the vote voting thing. I remember that chans got to look at chans and what was a proper vote oh man okay uh we have do, 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 we've done that we've done that uh you know what we're going to go here cuz we haven't been able to do that for a while Left off the E for a reason. Ha <laughs> ha! You, you funny guy. Okay, so what we do for folks that are new here, um, everyone's allowed to join. Every five minutes that you're here, you get a point. Uh, and you find out how many points you got by doing exclamation mark time. Doesn't mean that you have to be chatting. As long as you're being picked up by the bot as being in the chat, you get points. So, um, do excla exclamation mark time. Yes, I know I'm kind of rubbing my pecs. They're a little sore. Sorry. Um, exclamation mark time. And we'll tell you how many points you got. And do exclamation mark enter space and those points to enter. If you enter and you win and you are not subbed, we will gift you a tier one sub. If you are subbed at the time of the draw, we will, uh, you can pick from our loot box. Can you grab that? You will be dry from this. There, and they're mainly wrestling matches in here, but there are some pebbles. Uh, and um, for today, because it's a pay-per-view, we're gonna do two. Two draws. And I'm just writing these down. Lurker and lurker. Okay. So, get your points in. Carrie, can you count us down for the first draw? Yep. Five. Four. If you win, I swear three, to God. Two. One. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> 
Well. You have to give me a sub. I need you to type something in chat, please. What? Please just type something in chat. Well, we're doing another draw, so... <laughs> I'm going to re-allow entries. Can I get the rig? Thank you. Well, you also put your jinx in, too. Well, that's true. But... Carrier Bay just subscribed for 18 months. Stone Grasp gifted a tier one sub hey. to carry the right. case. Get 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 your extra points in. We're gonna pick another winner. If it happens to come up with a carry again, we'll redraw. But I didn't reset anything, so. Carry, count it down for us when you see. You guys I think this will there we go. De facto fiasco. Who would you like to draw for you, sir? GG, man. Congratulations. One sec, one sec. Stone raid. Okay, we're gonna be raiding a friend of ours. But we don't get to raid a lot. We have raided her before, but she's playing seven days to die. All right, uh, turn down your volumes. This is gonna be real loud, unless you're into turn that thing, which is then turn it up. Five, four, three, two, one. It's a match. Match. All right. All right. We are going to be raiding a Fiesta Taco. She is playing Seven Days to Die. She's a friend of ours. I've known her for quite a while. She is good people. Again, thank you all for hanging out. Uh, I'll see you all hopefully tomorrow night. And if not, be safe. Toasty, have a safe flight, man. Yeah, Toasty. If by Come any chance you're able to get out of Pearson, text me. It's not that far away. Peace out. Peace out. Enjoy and uh, be good. Well, not too good. Be good until you can get more pleasure from being bad. Oh. oh, oh.